excerpts from On the Freedom of a Christian by Martin Luther. Many people have considered Christian faith an easy thing, and not a few have given it a place among the virtues. It is impossible to write well about it or to understand what has been written about it unless one has at one time or another experienced the courage which faith gives a person when trials oppress them. But the one who has had even a faint taste of it can never write, speak, meditate, or hear enough concerning it. It is a living spring of water welling up to eternal life, as Christ calls it in John 4:14. 4, to make the way smoother for the unlearned, for only them do I serve, I shall set down the following two propositions concerning the freedom and the bondage of the Spirit. A Christian is perfectly free, Lord of all, subject to none. A Christian is perfectly dutiful, servant of all, subject to all. These two theses seem to contradict each other. If, however, they should be found to fit together, they would serve our purpose beautifully. Both are Paul's own statements, who says in 1 Corinthians 9, 19, For though I am free, item of all men, I have made myself a slave to all. And in Romans 13, 8, Owe no one anything except to love one another. Love, by its very nature, is ready to serve and be subject to him who is loved. So Christ, although he was Lord of all, was born of a woman, born under the law, and therefore was at the same time a free man and a servant in the form of God and of a servant. One thing, and only one thing, is necessary for Christian life, righteousness, and freedom. That one thing is the most holy word of God, the gospel of Christ, as Christ says in John 8, 36, So if the Son makes you free, you will be free indeed. And Matthew 4, 4, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Let us then consider, consider it certain and firmly established that the soul can do without anything except the word of God. If it has the word of God, it is rich and lacks nothing, since it is the word of life, truth, light, peace, righteousness, salvation, joy, liberty, wisdom, power, grace, glory, and of every incalculable blessing. Through faith alone, without works, the soul is justified by the word of God, sanctified, made true, peaceful, and free, filled with every blessing, and truly made a child of God. The inner self, who by faith is created in the image of God, is both joyful and happy because of Christ, in whom so many benefits are conferred upon him. And therefore, it is his one occupation to serve God joyfully and without thought of gain in love that is not constrained. Although the works themselves do not justify one before God, but we do the works out of spontaneous love in obedience to God, and consider nothing except the approval of God, whom we would most faithfully obey in all things. Although the Christian is thus free from all works, they ought in this liberty to empty themselves, take upon themselves the form of a servant, be made in the likeness of humankind, be found in human form, and to serve, help, and in every way deal with their neighbor as they see that God, through Christ, has dealt and still deals with them.